Hi everyone. As you know, I'm just back from South Africa. I thought it would be fun to have a little go at painting some of the waves that we saw when we were there. It's just a fun little exercise and uh, here we go. I thought I'd first start off by showing you the materials I'll be using in today's demo. I'll just be using some normal watercolour paper. This is Saunders Waterford, but any watercolour paper would be fine. Uh, in fact, as we're experimenting and uh, trying things out, you might even want to use the back of a piece of watercolour paper. This is just an experiment to have some fun. If we do well, we can carry on from there. I've got some brushes. You want a medium size, let me just zoom in for that, medium size uh, watercolour brush for the washers, a smaller watercolour brush for the more detailed work, and I've got a couple of old brushes um, that I'm going to use for the masking fluid and um, yeah, to make sure they're old and not very good brushes because they might get uh, they might get ruined by the masking fluid. I also have a couple of toothbrushes and we're going to use that for some of the flicking effects. Okay. I also have a toothpick. All right. Okay, the next thing you'll need is some salt. I'm just going to pour a little bit. This is just normal table salt. You could use really any kind of salt. I prefer using table salt, salt for this particular, you can zoom in on there, um, for that salt. You'll need some paper towel, some water, a nice big container if possible, a pencil and a razor. Some masking tape, some watercolours. Now this is my set of watercolours, but I recommend that if you're just starting, just to get a simple set of watercolours. This set is a Cotman's uh, small traveller set, watercolour set. Um, you can buy them quite cheaply online. I'll just show you what's inside. A really nice set. I'll just open up if I can. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve watercolours. And a small brush comes with that set. That will be excellent for the detail work, but you will also need a larger size brush for the exercise. I will send you a picture of the wave that we're going to do. And if possible, if you could print that out, it'll make it easier, okay? But you can also work from a device, an iPad, or your computer, or even your phone, if you're not able to print it off. One last, oh, um, a drawing board. I forgot, I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. A drawing board and a hairdryer, okay? That will speed it up. You don't have to have a hairdryer, but if you want to paint reasonably quickly, that will speed it up. One last thing I forgot to mention. In my magic bag, I'm going to search in here. For masking fluid. Now this is yellow masking fluid. You can buy blue masking fluid. This is going to be really handy for painting the details, the details of the foam. We're going to use the masking fluid and we'll also use the salt. Um, and a few other clever techniques. Okay, so first of get all, get yourself all ready. You'll need to start drawing out the basic composition. So, for example, the horizon line is a little bit less. If this is halfway and this is a quarter of the way down, it's a bit less than a quarter of the way, way down. So, I'm going to come to my piece of paper and I'm going to put the line in of the horizon. You don't have to do it in one go, just gently mark in first. If you do find it hard to the horizon line, to draw the horizon line, you can use a ruler. Okay. And I'm just putting that lightly first because I might want to move it. Then you need to look really carefully at the shape 
of the wave. It's making an angle or line like this, and then it comes back here. So I'm first going to mark in that main line. And that main line is coming just below the halfway line. So on my piece of paper, the halfway line is here. It's just below the halfway line. So I'm going to put in that main shape of the wave and how it curves back back on itself here. This is a bit where the this bit is where the wave is folding and crashing down. Okay, once I've got this basic line of the wave in, then you need to look at the shape or the splash that's been made at the top of the wave where it's folding over. So if you can see, it comes up here and there's a large splash here. And you look, need to look really carefully at that shape. So it's coming along and about here it comes up and it makes this big splash. And I'm just drawing that main shape, this main shape here, and just very, very lightly. And I'm going to look with a, a smaller splash area here. I'm going to mark that into just very, very lightly. This bit is curving. So you're starting off looking at the big shapes and getting smaller and smaller. Don't go too small too quickly. Next shape is this shape here, the curving. The next shape is that shape. I'm now looking at this shape here, another curve. I'm drawing that in. I'm trying to relate how this shape relates to that shape. I need to move it over. Now I'm look, now look at this shape here. It's coming over here. And now we have a big splash here. Just draw it out gently. The next bit to look at is the shadow underneath the wave, where the curve of the wave, where the wave is curving and folding over, it creates a dark shadow underneath the wave against the sand underneath. And I'm going to mark that line in. So all the time I'm looking at the basic structure and trying to work out how the wave had formed. I'm thinking ahead of how I'll get the highlights and darks. Here are some of the paints that I'll be using. Um, they're from the Cotman range by Winsor & Newton. They're student paints. Uh, they're wrapped in these little packets. And all you need to do is to open them up. It's probably worth writing down where the individual colours are in your palette when you're first learning. Um, because you'll probably forget where they are. And once it's opened up, you just pop it in. Hi. Here are the colours I'll be using during the demo. Two yellows, two reds, two blues, two greens, and yellow ochre, which is technically another yellow, but, uh, but helpful. Lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, viridian green, sap green, and yellow ochre. I recommend you uh, write those down.